welcome to the Finer Things Club. Some of you guys may have seen that I, and I want to clear a couple things up. We're going to do a wine taste test here. Um, we couldn't get as expensive a bottle. It's harder than you think to buy like a $300 bottle of wine. So we have, I think, like a 10, a 30, and a 90. So only the most sophisticated of palates will probably get this right ordering it. And I don't even have a sophisticated palate. People are listening to the argument. I just said, I always like more expensive shit. I have champagne taste. So we're gonna see what I like the most. I'm sure it'll be the most expensive because that's just me. And then we're gonna have Hank do it after and see what he likes. There's really no right or wrong, but it's just, you know, am I right about myself? So here we go, um, the Finer Things Club. What type of wine did we get? It is all Cabernet. All Cabernet, three types of Cabernet. So let me start. Aged Gouda, you don't want anything too light. Anybody who knows anything about cheese and Cabernet knows that. Now again, I have to reiterate, I don't know the difference between a Cabernet, Cabernet and a Chianti, Merlot, whatever. I'm not, I love wine, but I'm not good at it. This is strictly what I like the most. Clearly this is my favorite wine. No idea which one that is. That's what I enjoy the most. If I'm just like, you know, blind, I want a bottle of that, that's what I'd want. What do I want to drink more? If a bottle. This one's got some sort of kick to it. It makes me think it could be the more expensive one because that one's talking to me. And I'll lay them out. This is where I'm confused because I can talk about it. This one's a lot less like talky. It's smoother. This one's like, I don't know if it's acidic because it's cheap or it's, it's talking to me because it's got a little oomph to it. Hank. So this order right here from front to back, those are the ones you like the best to leave. This was clearly my favorite. Okay. What's the procedure? Just, just This is just what you like the most. Drink all three. Put them first, second, third. First and top. Yep. Taste the hops. There's no hops in wine, but... Have you had wine before? Once or twice. Occasional box wine.
This is last. <laughs> Dave, I don't know. Dave the doesn't know the result yet. And these two are Tulsa. But I like this one more. All right, so let's go to Dave, Dave's results. No more. Can you grab the bottles yep. and, and do you know the results and, already? And match them up. All right. So what do we, what do we got first? For you? you got um, one. So you went with the ninety dollar. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> no, I win! Hank took that last duck and burned everything. You're a bum. You have low class taste. <laughs> I needed that. I needed that. That was a lot of pressure. I'm like, God forbid this is reversed and the bum juices. <laughs> oh, thank God. All Hank, right. we proved it, baby. We proved it. For your second one, you were correct. The $30 bottle. He had the $30 bottle. Second. <laughs> I did it. And the $12.99. The, the Prince did it again. How about, how about, how about Hank? I told you, high class taste, uh, boys. Hank had Hank went uh, three, which was the. You went with the 30 first. Oh. All right, the 30. Good for you. Okay. And then the 13, and then the 90. So you picked the 90 dollar bottle last. The, so the most the expensive, the highest end thing, tasted like crap to you. You like crap. You have low class taste. You're low class. I would rather drink that than that. I know. Too I know. Our, our entire relationship. Our entire, our entire relationship summed up in a five-minute wine taste test. The Finer Things Club, the Scumbag Club. That's really all it boils down to. But again, I proved it. I proved it dead on. Not easy, by the way. This guy picked the worst. 